What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It is your boy, the Squirrel. It is Monday. It is Mitchell and Webb Monday. I am back. And it's time for How to Impress a Woman. Hmm, how do we impress a woman? Well, I think we're going to find out in just a second, ain't we? Aren't we? Aren't we? Ain't we? Eh, ain't we? Why not? Uh, also, I got a package right here. And uh, sometime later on today, I'm going to do a little unboxing. Uh, it's from uh, the Dorito and the Lucha Cabra YouTube channel. And uh, they sent me some stuff in the past. I'm excited to find out what's in that box. So we'll do that uh, in the next video. I hope you guys are doing great. Gosh, I miss you guys. I really do. Things have been crazy with everybody being sick. My son's splitting his face open. And it's been crazy. Whatever, right? It's life. That's what it is. Um, it's it's good to be breathing normal again. Uh, and to be back and uh, staring at this camera and saying hi. Because when I look in the camera, I feel like I see all you guys waving me in there. Hey! <laughs> here we go let's do some mitchell and webb if you're new here i was sick for a while that's what i'm crapping on about don't mind me it's okay it's mitchell webb time let's do it debbie i've come to read you a poem i've written all right whatever <laughs> oh debbie i wish my words could fly from my heart into you my friend, you'll never find a lady's favor with paltry sentiments such as these. If you wish to win this woman's heart, you must reach out and speak unto her very being. By this is like Roxanne, right? Isn't it Roxanne? There was a movie with Steve Martin. He had this huge nose, and but he would like hide, and I think he did poetry. I think. I don't know, it's been years. I never know what to say to her. A lover must speak with audacity, with, with passion, with courage, with wit. Your words climbing on each other's shoulders, surmounting the cool night air, and then tumbling gently Meanwhile, into her Meanwhile, she's up in the window. What the hell? How do I do that? Perhaps I can teach you. Alors, return to your battlefield of love and repeat after me. Oi, Debbie. Oi, Debbie. Louder, she is watching EastEnders. Oi, <laughs> what do you want? And so the dance begins. Tell her you want her to stop being such a bitch. <laughs> I want you to stop being such a bitch. What? She looks annoyed. Ah, but she has turned off the telly. You, you have her now, mon ami. Ask her if she's <laughs> bloody coming out or what. Are you bloody coming out or what? Now spit. Ah, <laughs> uh, where? Uh, well, there's a great new play on at the National, actually, so we... Oh! Idiot! <laughs> Did you say a play? Are you queer or something? No, I said I've got these tickets for the X Factor live tour. And what makes you think I want to go with you? Tell her, but because she loves it. That doesn't even make sense as an answer. Do it! Say it because you love it. Because you love it. I beg your pardon. Now call her a dirty girl. <laughs> oh, that's just sexist. Oh, she will think it is uh, effrant, uh, cheeky. You're a dirty girl. Oi, you cheeky bastard. Ask her if she'd rather you gave the tickets to Carrie Richards instead. Would you rather I give the tickets to Carrie Richards? Who the hell is Carrie Richards? Who the hell is Carrie Richards? She's a girl you got pregnant 18 months ago. She's a girl I got pregnant 18 months ago. You'll give them to her instead of the child support. That's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> Nothing. Look, um, I'll be down in five minutes. I've just got to put some makeup on. Tell her she needs it. I'm not saying that. You need it, you ugly cow. You are <laughs> such a cheeky git. Come up and I'll call her the minicab. All right, but you're paying. Yeah, all right. Allez, allez, mon brave, the pigeon, it is nearly in the pot. Actually, you know what, I mean, thanks for the help and everything, but now I've talked to Debbie, I'm not sure if I really like her that much. <laughs> You'll be all right for the night. I'm not really into that kind of relationship. I think she might have some self-esteem issues, allowing herself to be treated like that. What the hell? I don't even do... Are you coming in or what, you gormless bastard? Uh, actually... Oh, now it's candy, thank God. Oh, you naughty boy, let's at least get along in first. <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> what the hell? That wasn't Roxanne at all. It was kind of like the premise of the beginning, but oh my gosh. It's so funny. Now that I've talked to her, I don't think I want her. 
Yeah, now that uh, you know, now that she's let the dirty side come out, he's like, oh, I don't know, I, I want to take her to the theater. What's going on, you know? And then he gives him cocaine at the end. What the hell? <laughs> well, hey, man, uh, good for you, buddy. Uh, I hope you had a good night. <laughs> I guess that's how you impress a woman. You just treat her like crap. That's not how you do it. We all know that. <laughs> it's great. That's what makes it a great skit. <laughs> Although there are some women who, and and there's men too, um, that just seem like they attract people who are just mean and, and horrible people, you know. And it it goes both ways. Like I got a buddy who's his girlfriend's a raging bitch, like horrible. And like, maybe I don't even go over the house, you know. Nobody goes over there to visit because she's like, oh, one of your dumb friends is here, you know. <laughs> like, like I'm 46 years old, lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a kid. <laughs> anyway, um, and then there's women too. It, 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 horrible, horrible men treat women horribly, and they stay with them. I don't know. It's crazy. I know some of it's like a like a, a, a fear thing, but I mean, there's like women who like guy after guy after guy. It's the idiot after idiot after idiot, or you know, those dudes who like just dummy, dummy, dummy for girlfriends. It's like, what are you doing? You know, good people, and they end up with bad people. Anyhow. I went on with that way too long. Mitchell and Weber, great. They're awesome. I love them. And uh, I enjoyed that. I really did. I hope you guys are doing uh, doing good, all right? I, hopefully we get back to almost a full schedule this week, or actually a full schedule this week of me producing, you know, for both channels uh, almost every day during the weekdays. So we'll see what we can get done. It's good to see you guys. I missed you. I'll catch you soon. Scroll out.